Hi guys, this is Cypress Real Tech Reviews and here's 10 things that are new on the Android One 3.0 on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. Right, first thing that I've been waiting for for years, LG actually had it on their phones, but I was waiting for Samsung to patiently to put it on was this one so we go to advanced features and then you go to motions and gestures and then now you've got double tap to turn off screen as well as palm to touch palm touch to turn off screen so now there you go it's turned off Back on again, double double tap to turn on, double tap to turn off, palm just to turn on, turn off, sorry. There you go. So you're in a hurry. When you're doing your thing, you got you took your phone out of your pocket. Double tap, you want to check. There you go. That's brand new in Android 11. Right, so let me explain that one more time. So then you go to settings, go to advanced features, motions and gesture, and then you'll switch on double tap to turn off screen or palm touch to turn off screen or both if you want. Um, okay, right, our next feature is we pull down the notification panel, go to the three dots at the top here, and status bar. Right, so now we've got floating notification bubbles. There's a smart pop-up view. You can put the apps that you want, bubbles, or you can switch it off. I have it on off. Another thing here at advanced settings is notification history. There you go. You switch it on or switch it off. Switch it on and it has all your history. Switch it off. And all you need to do is to, to access it is to go into settings. Uh, sorry. Three dots at the top. Status bar and notification history. Um, what else do we have here? Oh yeah. Uh, let's have a look here. The brightness. After the update, um, this is how it came. There was no brightness. Before the update, you could put the brightness here. Now it's there. So what you do is you go to Three buttons at the top, three dots, quick panel layer, and you've got options here. To show brightness, control above notifications, which that I want. To switch on and off your devices and media buttons, or to show them beneath or on top. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Again, not with it today. Um, okay, and there you go. At the top. All right. Oh, lock screen. Um. Oh yeah, the lock screen's a good one. Now, if you touch the time here. Look at that, you've got all your widgets here. You can play. When I was hunting with Steve Vanell the first time, he saw some pigeons and he got out of shotgun. I was like, what is happening here? Yeah. <laughs> it's in Montana in the in the forest, but that's it's a delicious bird, apparently, if you cook it correctly. So you can add widgets.
can add widgets here, go to settings. You can reorder everything. You can put your digital well-being. You can put your weather, Bixby routines, music, schedule for the day, a near alarm. Show it on always display or not. Um, show on always on display. So then if I'm correct, there you go. Or turn it off. And nothing. But there, touch it. There you go. Right. Next. Go to pull down your notification panel. Go to settings. Lock screen. I found this very useful for me, especially when I come home. Once you're in lock screen, go to smart lock. And you've got trusted devices, trusted places, and on body detection. Now, here, every time you've got it on you, you've got your phone in your pocket, it remains unlocked. The minute you put it down on a table, it locks. Trusted places, say you want to come home, you say you come home, and you want to use your phone without having to remember your PIN number, without having to remember your, your, your pattern. So it just immediately remains unlocked for the duration of time that you're at home. The next one is trusted devices. So if you've got your car stereo connected to your phone via Bluetooth, your Bluetooth speaker, your Bluetooth headphones, your watch. You go into trusted devices and you add each device that you have connected via Bluetooth to your phone to trusted devices. I've got my car, I've got my Sony headphones, I've got my Galaxy Buds, and I've got my Mali Get Together Bluetooth speaker, right? So here, I'm going to add another one now, and I'm going to add my Galaxy Watch 3. Yes, add. Okay, so now it's added. So now, hopefully, it should work. I don't even need to put the pin or pattern. So as long as the watch is on my body and the phone is connected to my watch, the phone remains unlocked so that's about it for 10 new features on the new android 11 i hope you guys enjoyed that